Hi, I'm Strath. I'm a director and PhD researcher based in York. At the moment, I'm looking at the York mystery plays and how modern day amateur actors use the plays to make sense of the spaces in which they perform. This work me think full well, yet more will I make. York Mystery Plays were originally produced by the Craft Guilds of York. Uh, they were performed on wagons in the streets and public spaces of York, and they were resurrected in the 20th century as part of the Festival of Britain. So they were a response to the destruction uh, of the Second World War and the ensuing austerity. These performances continue to this day and they have a remarkable hold over the imagination of the city. They are tales of passion, of despair, of judgment, uh, but also of hope and reconciliation. We With hundreds of people involved each time, they include not only actors and directors, but costume makers, artists, people to push for wagons, uh, designers, musicians, even calligraphers, carpenters, really any kind of craft that you can imagine can play its role uh, in the creation of mystery plays. As for all live entertainment, this process is particularly vulnerable to the socially distanced restrictions of the current pandemic. Not least because the participants are amateurs, they are explicitly restricted from rehearsing together by the government restrictions. Instead, I have returned to their origins as a trade mystery or a craft, with craft considered as a curious, complex blend of what Alice Kettle describes as the site of collaboration sine qua non, on the other hand, an emblem of solitary mm -hmm. practice. Now, in this case, crafting play is dependent on the specialist knowledge and the material circumstances of the individual performing. Confined to the home, I have been doing this myself. I've been crafting the plays in solo works, each about four or five minutes long, and recycling material from household goods and past productions. They are a sustainable response to being in lockdown. I'm also interested in the way that the plays, which were originally written and created for the public spaces of York, change when placed into a private domestic space. So the next stage is to open up these processes to the community at large and working with individuals and households across York via Zoom. We will create all 47 of these plays um, with each one produced by one individual. This will then culminate in a festival of all the performances taking place in autumn 2021. Uh, it might be online, it might be in person, we will just have to see what the situation holds for us next year. What I'm hoping is that the existing uh, what's called community of communities that the current mystery plays create might be replicated in that. I hope that has prompted some interest uh, among everybody watching this. If you are interested in perhaps taking part or discussing the ideas behind this in more detail, um, you can email me at thomas.strazeski at york.ac.uk or you can visit the project website at yorkmysteries.com. Dot co dot uk